Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. Uh, got a piece of a uh, uh, bird's eye maple. Uh, it's kind of like a burl, part of a burl. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna try to make a little bowl out of it. But it's not, uh, it's not real big. It's about six inches here, six inches here, but it goes down to about three and a half up here. But I uh, thought what I'd do is I'm gonna leave all this natural all this natural edge on it, leave it square. Uh, it's got a crack in the end there, but that's uh, that's okay. But I'm just gonna turn a bowl here. I kinda got it uh, marked out. And then, uh, I don't know, we'll uh, try to figure out what kind of design we wanna go with it. So we'll, we'll get it mounted up there and we'll just go from there. So let me get it mounted up and on, we'll get the turning on this. turned there uh then i left a lip on it got it all sanded uh you see me saying that there i started at 80 and uh went up through uh 600 uh done the rest of it off camera but anyway to give you an idea of how i was doing it and uh things smooth smooth as glass <clears throat> so we'll put some finish on it it's got some marks in it right there i thought that was uh from where i was turning but that's actually in the wood there and right there it looks like it was from my gouge, but it's not. It's actually in the wood. But anyway, we're going to put some uh, finish on it here. And uh, I'll be using Axe uh, Sandy Paste and then Polishing Paste. Uh, it was really good. So, yeah, it's... Uh, it turned out really, really nice. 
get it down in that groove a little tough, but we'll get it in there. But, uh, I think it's going to turn out to be a nice piece. It's bringing out some pretty color. I don't know if you can see it on that end, but I can, I can sure see it on this side, on this end. So, yeah. Beautiful wood. It's the, like I said, it's the bird's eye, uh, bird's eye maple. It's part of a burl uh, that I had. Got a couple other pieces of it. Do something with it. They're kind of small. Can't do a whole lot. Got some cutoffs that I had from a bigger, bigger burl that I turned a while back. I always keep the cut off pieces most of the time. Never know. Do a glue up or something with them. But this will make beautiful uh, pen blanks. Uh, a lot of you do uh, turn pens, make pens. I've never turned one actually. I've got a, a mandolin four pen, but I've never, never really got into it. But this one, all right. <clears throat> Let me get it turned on here and give it some friction. Then we'll get the wax on. paste on there and uh, give it some shine. Out of the pretty, but we'll uh, <clears throat> we'll get it all finished up here, and uh, I'll come back and show you uh, show you the finished product. I'm gonna leave that tannin. I'm gonna leave the indention. I uh, just gotta sand up the bottom, and then we'll get some wax on it, and then we'll have the finished product. All right, got it all finished there. Got the finish on it. It's beautiful, uh, beautiful grain uh, in that maple. Part of that burl, you see that uh, right in there kind of looks like a crack, huh? but it's uh, just the line of the grain coming through. Beautiful bowl, beautiful piece of burl. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna say I still have that crack right in here, but I think it'll be fine. It's pretty because the moisture content on this was only like four percent, so it wasn't. It's not real. It's not green. So yeah. I left that natural edge on here. I think that's a, a pretty, pretty feature. Kind of looks like a butt. Huh. I don't know. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did get that thumbs up, uh, if you have subscribed, consider doing so. Uh, try to do a video every week. I didn't do one last week. Had a lot of things I had to do. I uh, didn't get out in the shop much. So, but yeah, hope you didn't. Like I say I left that tin and I got plans. I got plans for that. That's the reason I left that. Uh, but yeah, one uh, bird's eye maple burl bowl. I think it turned out really nice. All right, let me know what you think in the comment. All right, thank you to all of my subscribers. But uh, we'll uh, we'll see you on the next video. Be safe.